Sunday World Cup of Archery. Stage 2 in Antalya 2017. They're here on the beach about to take the field of play. All the compound winning the gold silver medal match. Walking out onto the field of play now in the red top and the black cap. She'll be shooting onto the far target from us here in the common tree position. It is the world number two shooting on target number two, Sarah Sonicson. 71% match win rate, 9.71 arrow average. She's done it. She's had a fantastic tournament already. She's got one last hurdle to get. And I'm sure she's glad and upset at the same time that he's not yet. <laughs> yeah, I suppose if you're going to take away a title, you want to do it not against one of your teammates, I suppose. But there is Tanya Jensen. So both these archers close in age, 21 Jensen and 22 Sonicson. Uh, but uh, Jensen ranked a, a fair bit lower in, in the world at 19. Do, do you think that's significant in this case? Uh, no, I mean... Tanya's uh, also a great super comp archer. She won the uh, World Archery Festival in Las Vegas this year in the uh, women's division. Um, uh, she's competed while outdoor so far this year. So, so Maria Larkina gets us underway. The judge in this match looks like it will be Jensen to shoot first. Ten. Ten to start with. And the practice field for this competition is right next door to the to the main arena, isn't it? Yep. Do uh, you find that helpful today in terms of judging the conditions? Yeah, very. Um, so it's not always the case, is it? You know, you move locations a little bit. Yeah, move locations, maybe shoot a little bit different direction. Um, I always try and watch uh, somebody shooting before me, the match before me, and see where their first arrows hit. Um, just so I have a little bit, maybe I can judge off that, have a little bit better idea as to what's going on uh, on the finals venue. So. Nine. So a nine with her last arrow of, of the first end of five for Tanya Jensen. 29 points, so 10 for Sonicson. Is what's needed to keep the scores even, and that's why she gets 29 each out of a possible 39 different ways of getting there, though. We're, we're on the way. Opening her account. A little bit. Blow up the puff out of the cheeks there, actually, just having to reset herself after you know the third match of the day. Yeah, I mean, like we were talking earlier with how, uh, how warm it is, that definitely wears on you a little bit. Um, throughout the day. I know this week I've probably drank about 30 gallons of water just trying to stay hydrated with the heat and everything. So. I wonder is a kind of northern European nation, Denmark, not being so used to the heat actually. I mean it's the same for both these two archers here but you know those are they are challenging conditions aren't they when you're just going to stand there and eat. Yeah, for sure. And I, Sarah posts on Instagram all the time complaining about how cold it is at home when she's practicing. <laughs> it really is beautiful here, and it's a thing that, that World Archery do so well, is to bring the, the finals venues into beautiful places where, you know, they can find plenty of local audiences. Yep, like we were talking, this is... Without a doubt, my favorite, uh, favorite Ten. finals I'm going to shoot. Well, it's been very good to you here, hasn't it? Yeah, I've won a fair amount of medals here. Um, haven't won every match I've ever shot on the finals venue, but Ten. I've always enjoyed it. <laughs> so two tens to open up with for Jensen and Sonicson. Eight. Wow. An eight for her. A little from the crowd what did you see there 
don't know whether she got caught by Ten. a custom man or why you tell me Austin didn't make the shot fall through trying to toss it back over there. So her dot was over in that area, but uh, as far as what made it go wrong, couldn't exactly tell you. Nine. She makes up for it with a uh, nine with her last arrow, so 27 yep. under a possible 30. On the left side of that target uh, the entire match. Nine. Everything's been left. Oh, there you have it. End number two is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Both arches looking like they've got little problems, actually. Sonic's are just shaking herself a bit, shaking her hand a little like she's twitched or pulled something. Or maybe it's all just part of the show, as we said. So 58 for the world number two, Sarah Sonicson. The two point advantage over her teammate, Tanya Yenson. I was interested actually watching the, uh, the Danish women's match earlier on, just how well Yenson shot. You know, she really yeah. dropped, I think, three points in the whole match. Yeah, she shot great. Uh, her and Sarah both shot great uh, in the team there. I think that gave both of them a lot of confidence coming in here, uh, especially Sarah coming in with a win after the mixed team as well. So, I mean, it is a two-point deficit for Tanya, but I mean, it's still anybody's match with the with the windy conditions and stuff. A lot can happen. Yeah, a lot more arrows left eight. to go. But another eight for her. The last eight she shot, I just saw a very tiny movement of the bow away when she when she released it. Nine. Nine. Uh, that point doesn't take a lot, a lot to push you out there. Um, your sight might not even be into the eight. Headed that direction and it goes off, you'll hit even farther out than where your sight was sitting. So. Um, you get caught with a gust of wind Ten. or something like that. Uh, even if your dot is still near the middle, it can throw you out even farther. Ten. There we go, two tens for yes, and So she she makes up for it. She's, she's Whatever adjustment that she needed to make, she made. Ten. Another ten for Sonicson. So he puts another point on that lead. She's got three points now in her advantage. 87 to 84. And there's two ends left in this match, but it's still incredibly close. And some of the players are mechanic on. Yeah, with, uh, I mean, six arrows left and um, three point difference. Um, I mean, really just tie it off there to do it from 50% of 10. Um, it's a lot easier said than done sometimes. <laughs> this is a, a, a real golden chance for Sonic in, in a way, isn't it? To, to find yourself in a, in a gold medal match, not up against Sara Lopez. You know, and, and also to go one better than she did in Shanghai, so she had a silver medal in, 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 in a silver medal in Shanghai in the last round. So. I don't know whether that would be playing on her mind at all, but she's certainly got an opportunity here to take a gold medal away. Yeah, and I'm sure she wants to win just as much as Tanya wants to win and vice versa. So um, I don't know if, you know, the, her result in Shanghai has even crossed her mind yet here, so. Time! She's been, she's been doing this long enough. She knows uh, to stay, stay in the moment. Ten. Actually, pretty good recovery on that one. Came off the back wall a little bit. I think the stats and the, the records and the previous performances are all things that commentators love. No. I suppose when you're on the shooting line as an athlete, that's just irrelevant, isn't it? You just, yeah, I mean, you're just thinking about that one. That yeah. Shot every time. Yeah. For me, I've never really Nine. worried about all that uh, while I'm shooting, anyways. Um, you know, looking back on it, some of that stuff's kind of cool. But up there right now, they're both worried about the World Cup points and the check at the end of the day. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> and the well, glory of winning too. So. Absolutely. So ten nine nine for Tanya Jensen, twenty eight points. Eight. And an eight 
for Sarah Sonson. So the lead cut a little bit there with a loose arrow from Sonson right down south there on the target face actually. So, broke that shot low, tried to throw it up in there. But. So 112 for Jensen, 114 for Sonson, and they've got three arrows left each, so there's no way really to, to predict the outcome of this match even at this stage, is there? I mean, no, I mean... A two point, you take a two-point advantage, wouldn't you? But with, th oh, with three arrows and you're capable of shooting eight, both of them, there's, there's plenty of tension still. Yeah, but they're both uh, fully capable of shooting a 30 as well, so... Absolutely. I mean, you know, um, Lopez shot plenty of 30s in, in her match, and we're, we're waiting for one here in... in on the scoreboard in, in this match, but it would be quite a time to quite a time to do it. So, Jensen, final three arrows. Nine and a nine for her. Still hanging left side a little bit. But. Nine. And a nine for Sonicson. So the lead is still two. Jensen looking for a 10 and she gets it right in that X zone. 10! By the 10 from Sykeson in answer. So the scores are tied in this end. Still two point advantage, but a 10 from Jensen. So a 9 will take the gold medal for Sykeson. She needs to hold gold here. She's good. Nine! And it is a nine. Ladies and gentlemen, that for is it. Sarah Sonson. It's Sarah Sonson's weekend. Now she has an individual goal to go with her team goal. A huge hug for her compatriot, Tanya Jensen. But another goal for Sarah Sonson to go with the team goal and the mixed team goal that she won here earlier on. She's made a huge step towards qualification for the World Cup finals later in the year. Often in the shadow of world number one, Sarah Lopez, but a gold medalist today. Today's the day for Denmark's Sarah Sonnenson. Look at that, 5-5. We're playing on. Played in a great spirit, that, that match. But you can see how happy she is. Yeah, for sure, and you can tell. I mean, it's that way with anybody who's great friends with all the competitors. They, while they were up there shooting their back talking, you know, it's a whole different attitude than when they're back talking with Martin or something in between ends. So, uh, both of them definitely want to win, obviously. And it's kind of cool to see that. Yeah, sorry, bro. No, you're good. It's kind of cool to see the relationship between going from competitors to friends back and forth and back and forth. So, it's definitely something all of us have done uh, at one time or another.